Hi, I'm Bobby Rio, and how can you display confidence when talking to a woman, especially if you're older than her, and even if you feel a little out of your element talking to her? So a lot of my private clients are men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, and a lot of times these guys have been out of the dating game for a while. And now they're re-entering the dating scene, but because they've been away for so long, or maybe they never really mastered it in the first place, they experience a profound lack of confidence when they're talking to a woman. Now, if you know anything about the game of dating, you probably already know that it's really important to project confidence, but when you're an older guy, it's even more important. In fact, it's critically important, especially if you're talking to a younger woman. Now, there's a big reason for this, and I'll tell you why in just a second. One of my clients, Bruce, who is in his early 50s, went on a couple dates with this woman in her early 30s, and he said that it started off hot and heavy. She was very physically attracted to him, but by the third date, things had just cooled off, and her whole demeanor towards him had changed. And when we started dissecting what happened, it became crystal clear. The girl, let's call her Tina, she was really attracted to older guys. A lot of guys don't realize that there are a lot of women out there that actively want to date an older guy. As Bruce and I started talking about it, he even mentions that her last boyfriend was 20 years older than her as well. But what I pointed out to Bruce was that there was a disconnect between her fantasy of this mature, worldly, confident guy and bumbling Bruce, who came across insecure, let her lead the interactions, and was actively seeking her approval instead of the other way around. Now, I always tell my clients, your age can be an advantage or a disadvantage. It's totally up to you. So in this video, I wanna talk about a few of the ways that you can display confidence early on talking to a woman. Now, these are practical techniques that you can test out tonight. Okay, let's get into them. Number one, give her a name. There's a saying that he who names owns. So this is a little trick to project and gain a little dominance. When you're talking to a woman, after she mentions her name, repeat it so that she knows you know it, then give her a completely different nickname. This is a classic move of a man who's comfortable with women. It shows a kind of ownership. You know, you've named her, you've categorized her. There are a whole host of reasons that it's great for establishing rapport, inside jokes. Even later when you're texting her and she's got a dozen other guys in her phone, you're the only one calling her that specific nickname so she knows exactly who that text is from. It could be something generic like dude or bro. Sometimes it's fun to give a little masculine name to entice her to display more of her femininity around you because the more feminine a woman finds herself acting around you, the more attracted to you she becomes. Other good ones are trouble, which kind of entices her to be a little rebellious and it's a little playful. Another one of the things that I noticed and another name that a lot of guys that are really good with women do is they call women little. Little girl, little one, little princess, whatever. But the idea of conveying to a girl that you're bigger than her is powerful since women are biologically designed to be attracted to men that are bigger and stronger. Little is a good word that can be used to tease her or as a term of infection, uh, depending on the situation, but definitely, definitely mix that in. So giving her a nickname, uh, okay, next. Number two, non-judgmental qualification. In any interaction with a woman, you always wanna take on the role of the judge and not the one being judged. A lot of times a, a guy, because he's a little insecure, will go into approval seeking mode, explaining himself, trying to impress, stumbling when a woman asks him questions, and your value is immediately lowered when that happens. Instead, practice something that I call non-judgmental qualification. This means that you're subtly getting the woman to qualify herself to you instead of the other way around. Non-judgmental means it's more out of curiosity than judgment, and it's more challenging than condescending. So let's say you're talking to a woman and you find out that she works in a vet's office and you ask her why she got into that. Now her first answer might be that, you know, I really love animals. 
And now most guys hungry to gain rapport with a woman would immediately try to show her that they love animals too and they tell her how cool it is, you know, and, and how great it is she gets to work with them. But instead, qualify her some more. Say something like, yeah, but you could have gotten a job at a zoo or a pet store or opened a doggy daycare. You know, what attracted you working in a vet's office? Now she might say, well, I've always been good around sick people and I, I felt like I like to take care of people and animals. See, it's minor, but what you did is you made her work more to qualify herself to you. Most of the time, women are used to guys working to impress them instead of the other way around. So when she finds herself trying to impress you, it triggers something in her. And the fact that you don't immediately give her approval or validate her subtly tells her that you have high standards. Now, the second little confidence, uh, the next little confidence trick that I want to share with you is to lead the conversation. So number three is leading the conversation. A lot of times, if you're dealing with a talkative or chatty girl, she'll start hammering you with questions. And a lot of these questions won't take the conversation anywhere. And worse, the more questions of hers that you're answering, the more she's the one leading the converse conversation. So you want to get in the habit of answering and leading. And one way to do that is never answer a direct question she gives you. So let's say she says, so, do you watch a lot of sports? Now, some women are asking a question like that to weed out guys who, who spend their Sundays you know, staring at the TV. So, in a way, she's qualifying you. So, rather than say yes or no, lead her into a deeper conversation. So, here's an example of a better way to respond. So, that's interesting. I, I spent a lot of time actually in Colombia recently, and one of the things that I found you know, really interesting there was that the entire city basically closes down for soccer games or you know they call it football there and at first I was really like you know this is totally unproductive you know I've always been a, a business guy so it just seemed like why would you let a sport dictate your life like that but I came to really appreciate the community behind it the sense of rapport they had with each other just this shared love of a team and man you've never seen a party until you've seen a bunch of Colombians celebrating their team's victory how about you? Have you ever experienced anything like that where a whole community of people are just like in complete synchronicity, even for a few hours? So you see how I led the conversation away from her qualifying me and I made it more interesting and then I asked her a deeper question. I mean, how much better is that than saying, yeah, I'm a huge Patriots fan. Now, one thing I recommend is taking my short 10 question test because it provides 10 examples of common dating situations, and it lets you know if you handle them right. Now, it's a little quiz, and even if you've already taken it, now that you have these new mindsets, I recommend you take it again and see if you answer it differently. See, most guys, before they take the quiz, they assume they'll do good, but then they bomb every question. The great thing is you immediately get the results and you discover why each answer was right or wrong and it'll help you make sure you handle things on dates and with women correctly going forward. You can take the quiz by clicking the link below. Your results may surprise you. Now if you like this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and also leave me a comment and let me know other topics you'd like me to cover.